Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I was browsing around on GeoGuessr and found this map here, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. All the World Heritage Sites that have Street View or a Photosphere available. Difficulty may vary. Okay, well, I think this sounds really interesting. I'm sure the UNESCO World Heritage Sites are either beautiful or interesting or both. Uh, so I figured I would give it a try. I hit play. I've got 2 minutes and 30 seconds still on the clock here, and I think I'll um, leave it as that um, for now, just to keep things going. Moving, panning, and zooming aloud, although it did say a lot of these uh, photospheres, which uh, I think is the phrase for sort of those bubbles that you can't move around in. So uh, may or may not be allowed to move, but um, regardless, let's start the game and see how we do. Okay, two and a half minutes on the clock. Wow, would you look at that. <laughs> okay, the sun is, what is that, pretty firmly in the south, I would say, which is interesting because my first guess here would have been uh, New Zealand. Well, is it in the south? That's, I'm not sure. That, that could be, that's west there, and then that is to the north, so mm, not sure. Um, got some hills. It's pretty rocky here. Um, and, don't know, this could be a tough one. This could be a tough one because without... Hang on, the sun has changed here. So we've moved just from from this spot to a new one. And yes, look at that. The sun there is, is quite firmly in the south. So not sure now because this could be Canada, Scotland, you know, Russia for all I know. I don't think it's Scotland, although it does look pretty Scottish, because these kind of huts here, these houses here with the with the red and the very steeped roofs, you don't really get in the UK. So I'm going to keep going to this. There's this little sort of township over here, and I'm in search of a flag. That is that is what I'm looking for. So I'm rather hoping that they've got something. And I do see a pole, although it might have just been this one. Hang on, what is this? Is this a church? If this is a church, it could be a saving grace. Now... Oh, flagpole with nothing on it. Ooh, that's frustrating. Just beautiful homes nestled in these rocks. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that, that, that formation there out into the water, just incredible. So we've got here water to the, what is that, to the west. So maybe that puts us on the west coast of, of the US or Canada, possibly. And with 30 seconds to go, I think that that might be it for me. That said, these bundled up hay bales here, you you get that in the UK, the the marshmallows I call them. So are we, you know, are we somewhere? Are we one of those islands off? Or are we in the, the these islands here off Denmark? We might be up here. I'm going to go for a wild guess. The Faroe Islands, wild guess inbound. We're possibly here. Ooh, and we weren't. Well, I was crisscrossing all over the world then in the last few minutes. We were going from we were going from Canada to Scotland, but I, I didn't talk about Norway, and of course it was remiss of me to not because uh Norway is absolutely gorgeous. Seafaring nation, of course. Uh and where were we exactly? We were on this island off the coast, either called Vega, Veja, or Igeroya. Um, the Norwegian sort of pronunciations often escape me, to be honest. So not sure how to pronounce that, but um, way sort of up there in in, in Norway. Um, yeah, fantastic. Just what what a coastline they have there. Crazy. Next round. Okay. Hoping for a little more luck, but goodness knows what do we have here? Rika two nine nine. Now I suspect that this is going to be a photosphere, and we'll get a good view out here. Oh yeah, look at this. Well, that's the sun in the south, just peeking over that hill there, so that's helpful. Um, got some big rocks, some big crevasse here we're in. Some person, I think a lady next to us with a, with a phone, rightfully taking images of this lovely scenery. Well, this is pretty big country here. Um, I think... There is a sign, so let's use it, because that's going to really help us here. 
Prepovedan prehod accesso viato no three. Oh, okay, this is in multiple languages. Pozo grad. Pozo grad. Reka. Isn't Reka a place in. I'm going with Europe here because of the the languages that we've got. Reka. Is that. Uh, uh, maybe I'm thinking of Riga. Um, this is definitely, you know, mega country. When I say mega country, I mean, you know, the rocks here are vast. This is, if I didn't see this sort of, all the languages here and, and this in English, I, I'd almost bet that this was California, but that Pozor Grad sounds um, Polish, maybe? Not sure. Just looking at the people as well. The people, you know, look sort of mostly European and Again, you know, it could be in North America as well, for all I know, but I don't think they are. I'm stalling, really, because I don't know. Um, I don't know where there is such scenery like this that isn't sort of France and the Alps. So, you know, possibly we're in... Um, possibly we're in sort of Slovenia, actually, because we've got here the 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 Dolomites and the, and the sort of Alps still still progress so just based on the language i'm going to go with this the tri triglavsky nardoni park and i'll go with triglav there oh and we were in slovenia well would you look at that that's fantastic i'm i'm really thrilled with that guess matavun I was thinking, oh, could it be Poland or could it be Estonia, Latvia, one of those sorts of countries, but I'm just not aware of any sort of mega mountains like that. And lo and behold, on the northern eastern edge of the Alps here, you've got Slovenia. Good old Slovenia. All right, well, fantastic. That's that's a better round. Brilliant. Two and a half to go, and we're now somewhere different again. This is a building. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to do a whole 360. And I am not sure. I am not sure. This has got a Greco kind of Roman influence, doesn't it, with these columns. We're at a cemetery. I mean, you can see beyond. Oh, we can actually move. What am I thinking? Let's get on with it. Um, do I want to go into the cemetery? You know what? I do out of curiosity, if nothing else. Um, curiosity might be what kills the cat here, but come on. But, um, there might be a sign, although, I don't know, cemeteries don't really strike me as the kind of place where there could or should be a sign, frankly. You know, I think it's interesting to see the cemetery, but in the interest of getting this right, or at least trying to, I'm actually going to go the other way, because there's more likely to be an entrance sign here explaining where we are so which i think is what we're trying to accomplish isn't it so and there isn't which is a bit frustrating but there is a sign here Ooh, and i can't read a thing on it no and I, unfortunately i can't go sort of towards it either the only way it seems that i can go disable parking no those are just parking signs the only way it seems i can go is actually this way but there's a sign here so this is going to be it. We're going to have to use this. Shu Brunas Stig. Seven Wells Path. Okay, interesting. It's in English. Kavata 24. Brunasvag. SJU Brunasvag V Gravar. Well, I'm not sure about any of that, to be honest. But it strikes me as that it could be... Seven Wells Path. Shu Brunner's Stig. So Wells, Brunner's, Shu, seven, Stig. Not German, Einsweid. Not Dutch, not Polish, Czech maybe. You know, could be Czech. Could be, could be Scandinavian as well. I think it might be Swedish, in fact, but I'm sticking with my guess. And it was Swedish. Oh, that's frustrating. I thought I, I said it at the end, I, but unfortunately didn't back myself to change the pin. It was Swedish. We were in Stockholm or very near to it. Um, basically on the on the yeah, I mean in Stockholm. Um, 
And where were we? We were in this cemetery here. I'm gonna give that a try. Skodskir, Skodskirkogarden, Skodskirkogarden. Okay, well, um, yeah, just at the end there was second guessing myself. Really needed the full two and a half minutes. But um, a beautiful and very peaceful looking cemetery, as they should be. Different again, we're on a beach or a salt flat? No, beach, potential beach, tied out. Look at this country, I mean, just pause for a second and drink that in, would you? Look at that. Um, I think in the distance there, we can see water, and this to me looks very tidal, so all of this, I suspect the tide is out, and we are on the plains. Now, where is the sun? Dead west, unfortunately. Which way is north? That way is north, and this way is south. So, can't rely on the sun, I'm afraid, and... don't seem to be able to move. This is worrying because I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to get this. This could be anywhere really in, well, Australia, Africa, New Zealand, South America. Let's look at the mud. Why would I look at the mud? I mean, I'm not really sure what you can tell. It, doesn't look like anything I recognize. It's not It's not the sort of red that Australia sometimes has, but these hills are just, just mega. There is the water. So I'm trying to think of where there is significant hills like this, and I th I'm thinking of Chile. Mountains, you know, but still by the coast. The trees, though, they could be African. I've only got 30 seconds. Um, I mean, I'm thinking, like, up here in Chile. I'm going to put down safety pin just in case I keep talking too much. But you get these big valleys, and so maybe in Col Caldera, for example. I mean, I just don't know how tidal it is. Playa Chorillos. Where are we looking? There's more hills to the to the west, and there's also hills to the east, so I think that that's wrong. Completely wrong. We weren't even on the coast. <laughs> we were in we were in Kenya. Okay, well I was thrown because I thought I saw seawater. But it was a lake, and we were on Lake Bogoria in Kenya. There you go, people. Well I don't uh I don't sugarcoat these videos. They are honest guesses. So, not a great one, that one. I earned another point. I didn't realize that when you just got one point, it said that. You earned another point. How charming. Round five of five. Okay, and a different story again. This is... Is this really a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Well, I suppose some of this architecture is quite interesting, isn't it? Um, looks European to me. Uh, we just need to have a quick scan of the number plates. Yes, they've got the blue. They're white with the blue um, sort of part on the left of them, so that's good. We're in a tram country, uh, not the Netherlands here, because the Netherlands would have a um, yellow number plate. This is possibly France with these uh, very regal-looking dark blue signs. In fact, I think that they are Ziegler. Sweet in. So, a bit of English going on here. I'm just trying to get a hold of this. Louise. Louisa. Unfortunately, I think that sign holds the key to the to the clue as well, because they often say which city you're in. Um, it just, frustratingly, doesn't seem to be loading all of a sudden. So, that's annoying. Um, come on, please load. Well, in the meantime, whilst that is loading, I'm going to put down a safety pin in France just to just to keep things going. Unfortunately, it seems that possibly my internet has just just copped it. So, what is going on? Come on. 
Oh no, it is. Maybe it's just the camera that, of the area that we're in on on GeoGuessr. Oh dear, that is quite frustrating. I appreciate this is not good viewing content. I'm going to just try and go back to the beginning. And unfortunately, it seems to have completely throw. Oh. Let's try this way. You see, this is loaded in good good quality. So I'm not sure if that was my internet or not. Um, let's try this one here. We've got 19 seconds, so really need to nail this one in a in a wanna. Paul Emil Rude. Lindevoortstraat, right, I think we're going to be on the border with, with uh, Belgium here. I'm going for Lille or Roubaix. Um, yeah, oh, we were in Brussels. Okay, great. Um, I said uh, Brussels there because the, ve oh, sorry, I said on near Belgium. I still thought that we were in France and we were not. So good point to remember that those dark blue signs apply to Brussels as well. That's the first learning. The second one is I saw the Straat, which is uh, Dutch or presumably Flemish. Uh, so figured, you know, we were sort of near Belgium. Uh, I didn't quite, I was still stuck in France mentally. So put myself there. But in the last second there, managed to rectify it. So view summary. Look, 14, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1 points. So some nice uh, symmetry in that. Um, Look, terrible guess there in uh, South America. The actual one was in Kenya. I think that was possibly the most beautiful place. Uh, shout out goes to Norway, where um, after floundering around like a fish on dry land, uh, I went for a guess in, what were these islands? I, for, I don't think I even called them correctly, the Faroe Islands. I went for a guess in the Faroe Islands and we were actually in Norway. Um, great guess in Slovenia. I think that that was actually the best guess of the entire round. Uh, Sweden and Czech were wrong and um, well at the very end there was was quite close to Brussels so on the whole a very good game and I really enjoyed the map set great to see some beautiful parts of of the world so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video